breaking news, I still hate tourist stuff, but happy wife, happy life. We're in the cable car heading to Sentosa Island, and as it turns out, Joyce is not a fan at all of heights. Too bad lady, I paid for this. And that's the point, Sentosa is an island designed to suck all the money out of your pockets. Our first stop today is Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, and I mean, why not? We get to hang out with historical characters such as Nelson Mandela, the old lady on the back of Canadian money, and one of my all-time favorites, the GOAT, Muhammad Ali, who, even as a statue, seems to still have his eyes on the eyes. Yeah, that's Bruce Lee. Oh, look, Jackie Chan. Both of whom Serena would crush in an arm wrestling contest. There's also my childhood nightmare and the Austrian dead machine. And the legend behind my dog's name, who is also very short. Hmm, how many gropes a day do you think Wax Beyonce gets on average? Probably more than 30s Elvis in his 50s costume. Sure, stranger, I'll take a selfie. Listen, I'm all about that Hollywood magic, but there's no way Leonardo is this tall, dude! I mean, he was able to crawl underneath that grizzly bear, man. You remember that scene? Daniel, yo! Brits, what a bunch of stiffs. Wait, I thought Freddy killed that guy. Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy rewatching Polly's story every now and again. Crocky, the Canadian honey badger! Here's Bruce Wayne in the universe where his parents do not get killed when he's a kid. Listen, dude, I was telling Craig over there that Leo should be much smaller than this, right? Right? RDJ, you in there? Jarvis? God damn it, man. What, these guys are just too good for the public now? Uh, what are you doing here? Simon Says does not condone the actions of historical authoritarian despots. Thank you. Next on the list, Butterfly Park and Insect Kingdom. Listen, no matter how many Michael Bay movies I watch with my daughter, she just wants to cuddle some butterflies. I'm sorry, honey, but without a net, these guys are all but impossible to catch. Oh, wow, you got one. Nice. You know what? I think everybody in this world should strive to find that special someone who looks at them the way my daughter looks at this butterfly. Okay, everybody, saddle up. It's time to move on. Sorry for the heartbreak, girl, but it's time to go see some birdie birdie birds. Bird, bird, bird. What? Birdie birdie birds. What? Bird, bird, bird. What? What? Yeah, I still enjoy birds. But this is the insect kingdom, goddammit. And here comes the king, the rhinoceros beetle. And here's the kingslayer. Ooh, this bearded dragon has eaten more than a few today. But, as it turns out, the Insect Kingdom could be renamed the Insect Morgue because everything is dead out here. But take a look at this. Somebody took the time to rearrange a bunch of colorful beetles into a fresco. This is impressive and beautiful in a real creepy kind of way. And there's more than one too. Talk about dedication. While on the subject of creepy stuff hanging off the walls, we make our way to Hard Rock Cafe for some much needed snacks. All right, I'm alive again. Next stop on the list, the Southeast Asia Aquarium, or Sea Aquarium. <laughs> See what they did there? <laughs> what? I'm allowed, I'm a dad. Y'all know this about me already, but I'm a big old cuddly animal lover. And yes, this includes aquariums. Joyce and I have always made it a point of visiting local aquariums wherever we are. Quebec City, Vancouver, San Francisco, Waikiki Beach, it doesn't matter. If there is one, we'll show up. Challenge time, can you spot the rockfish in this display? I can tell you right now, the Sentosa Aquarium is probably in my top three. I mean, look at this coral pillar in the middle of the place. The layout and level design alone is worth the price of admission to me. But for Ariel, it's all about them seahorses, man. For his money, Leo is more of a bottom-feeding wormfish kind of guy. Also, clownfish. Everybody loves clownfish, but you know what clownfish prefer the most? Audience fish. Yeah, get it? <laughs> what? Come on. No one? 
I know I'm always bitching about tourist attraction, but honestly, I don't think that zoos or aquariums are part of it. Ooh, don't want to step on this guy. The Sentosa Aquarium is well laid out, it's informative, and quite frankly, it's relaxing. I dig it. And if any of you want to see the underside of an anemone, well, there you go. Also, you are very weird. Speaking of weird, jellyfish and LED make for a much better lava lamp than anything in the 70s, don't you think? Okay, bear with me here, but that next exhibition is straight out of Star Trek The Voyage Home. I mean, who else but Mr. Scott could build an aquarium this size? Will you look at this thing? Nearly three stories high, 36 meters in length, with a window thickness of about 70 centimeters. This is one of the biggest fish tanks in the world. Come on, that's impressive. Not that I want to give anyone any bad idea, but if I were an employee of this aquarium, I would sneak in here every night with a sleeping bag and doze off while looking up at the manta rays. I do wish to see these guys up close in the wild someday. Ooh, hammer time! Yeah, swimming with those guys would be cool as well. There's a lot of things I want to do. I should fast track that bucket list. I don't care how manly or macho you think you are. If you are not able to look up at this simple beauty and delight in it, I can only shrug and tell you, too bad, dude. I can. And I do. This is great. Of all the things I wish to pass on to my kids, this capacity to marvel and delight in front of simple beauty like this is on top of the list. That's way more important than my ravishing good looks or my long blonde flowing hair from 20 years ago. Admiral, there be whales here! Ooh, what's this? Menacing shadows. Here's the deal. I love sharks. Don't get me wrong, if one of these suckers brushed upon my leg when I'm bathing in the open sea, or if one takes a bite out of my paddleboard, I'd probably shit myself. Call me Daddy Shark. They just own that cold primal look, dude. And if form follows function, these guys look exactly like they should. Anything that can chomp off one of your leg in a single bite deserves your respect. Remember this next time you go for that swim or dive for that pearl. Well, more people die from falling coconuts than they do from shark attacks though, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> I dreamt that I spent 400 bucks in some crazy tourist island. Joyce, you okay? Oh snap, it was all real! Well, there you go. A family day spent in Sentosa. The wife had a good time, the kids had a good time. Hell, I even had a good time. And if you did too, go on, press that like button, let me know. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead, subscribe. We're happy to have you tag along. Now there's still plenty to see and do around Sentosa, so whenever the fancy strikes the family again, I'm sure we'll be back for more. Until then, stay safe and I'll catch you down the trail. Bye bye! <laughs> oh, come on, this one's good!